In this beginner's video tutorial, we are going to learn how to use the Start menu on Windows 10. To access the Start menu click on it at the bottom left of the screen, and it will pop up. You can also use the Windows key on your keyboard. On the right hand side of the Start menu you have tiles. These are quick shortcuts to applications you download from the Microsoft Store and programs on your computer. On the left at the top, we have the most recently installed apps and programs, and just below that is an A to Z of apps and programs you can scroll through. On the far left side, which you hover over to expand will have account and shortcuts to documents, settings, and to power off and reboot the computer. First, we are going to take a look at how to use the tiles. Tiles can be moved around by clicking and holding the left mouse button. Just drag the tile to where you would like it to be placed. Let go of the left mouse button to place. Every tile has an option menu. To access this, right click on any tile. Now you will have the option of unpinning the tile from start. This just removes the shortcut but will still be located in the A to Z list so you can right click and pin to start again if needed. Next you have the option of resizing the tile from small, medium, wide and large. Some tiles might not have all of these options. Under the More menu, here you will see some more options. Turn Live Tile Off means that any live information sent to the tile for example with the Weather app will stop, so no weather updates will show on that tile. Pin to Taskbar does just that, it pins that application or program to the taskbar here. You might get the option of run as administrator. This is for advanced users that need the program to run with full user rights. Next is app settings, this will bring up a box with settings. You can turn off this app from running in the background and some various other options like terminate the app process, to stop it running in the background one time. You can repair the app if it's not working, and you can reset it. There is also an option of uninstalling completely. This may be grayed out depending on the program. The last option is uninstall, so with this you can uninstall the program or app directly from the tile. Some tiles may not have all these options and some may have others for example share, rate and review if you wish to do that. Another thing you can do with the tiles is to create groups. As you can see we already have two groups, Productivity and Explore, but what if we would like to create a new group or rename the ones already here? Let's start by creating a new group. First drag a tile until you see a blue highlighted rectangle. Drop the tile on that and this will create the group but we need to give it a name. To do this hover above the tile that you just dropped and you will see the text name group appear. Click on that and just give it a name. Once finished click in a space to set the name for the group. You can now move that whole group with the tiles in it up or down by clicking and dragging to your desired position. If you wish to rename the group just click the text and change it. To delete the group, right click the group name and unpin group from start. Make sure you remove all tiles out of this group first or it will remove them all and would mean pinning them back to the tiles from the A to Z. Alternatively if you just have one tile in the group, just drag the tile out of it and the group will automatically be removed. Another useful feature is the ability to drag tile shortcuts to the desktop, let's do this now. Just drag the app off the start menu and onto the desktop. You can resize the start menu by hovering over the sides until you see two arrows. Left click and drag to adjust the width and the height. We can adjust some other settings with the start menu. Let's take a look at that now. 
First click on the settings icon to bring up the control panel and then click on the personalization option. On the side press on start and here is where you can change other settings at the start menu including show more tiles on start for more room. Enable or disable the A to Z app list and recently added apps at the top. Show the most used apps and suggestions in start and if you would like the start menu once press to go full screen. At the bottom, there is a link to another page where you can add shortcuts to most use places, for example, documents, pictures, etc. We hope you found this tutorial useful. Please share and subscribe to follow any new videos. Thanks for watching.